Good afternoon. This is John here from Historic Health. I'm going to be talking to you about tea today. I'm a bit too low in the screen, but never mind. I'm going to talk to you about tea today. A particular type of tea. Now, last week I did promise I would do. I would drink bone set for a wee bit. It's funny. I went to bed Sunday night feeling perfectly fine. I just been to see my grandkids over in Lancaster. I had a lovely time, and then I come back Sunday night still feeling fine. Went to bed perfectly fine. Woke up, bang, the most swollen feeling throat and um, aches and pains and sweating and all that that I've ever experienced. Straight to the ginger tea, of course. But, yeah, it was a really, really, I don't know, severe infection of some sort. Don't know what, I, mean, I had the week off work, plenty of plenty of ginger tea and black tea. Really didn't feel like taking the bone set because it, it was an ordeal to drink it because I found it quite unpleasant to taste. So we're going to go back to bone set next week yeah we'll start it again next week so this week as promised it's lemon verbane lemon balm tea I keep saying lemon verbane it's lemon balm tea really good it's an antihistamine so good for asthma allergies and that kind of thing it's also good for the digestive tract as, as all these things are really good for for wind apparently or as all these things are lemon balm we're talking but but the most exciting thing for me is it's a mood lifter it's an anti it's got antidepressant qualities and I'm hoping, you know, that, you know, it will it will lift my mood. It's because I've been quite down. But I don't like letting my colleagues down at work. All that kind of thing, you know, I just don't. So I've been feeling pretty, pretty miserable. So I'm hoping this is going to lift my spirits. So sorry about the bone set that I'm not able to give you. But it wouldn't be fair. And I, I refuse to lie or make things up for appearances sake. The truth is I was poorly and I just couldn't bring myself to drink it because I found it tasted so awful in the, in the you know, on, on, on the Saturday. But here we are with some lemon, lemon balm tea. So here we are. As you can see, it's a nice golden, almost lemony colour. You get the aroma of fresh grass with a citrusy, little hint of citrus. Taste-wise, let's go for it. The first thing yet I'm struck with is an oily, an oily kind of feel. It reminds me of my brother and sister when my brother and sister and I used to have to queue up as um, as children, and mum would um, give us a teaspoonful of I'm sure it was a really big. I think it was the biggest teaspoon in the house, but it was a teaspoonful of cod liver oil, like on a daily basis, and it reminds me of that. In definitely mouth, definitely in, in mouth feel, and. Um, Mouthfeel. There we are. And in terms of taste, there is a a fishiness, a definite fishy taste, and a oh, mm. oh. Mm. But let me say, it's, you know, like I talk about nettle making me feel good. Perhaps you've got and wow, right at the end there. Little hint of lemon, really lovely, really lovely. I'm looking forward to that. So, you know, the three things I'll be letting you know about is its <coughs> effect on my um, my allergies, like the throat thing, <coughs> the um, my, my stomach. Because I do get a lot of acid. I don't understand why I get a lot of acid reflux, but I seem to probably my age and also, but more importantly, my mood. So there we go. That's lemon balm tea. Now then. Cheese up there. You know, I've been I've been whinging on about you know how I'm going to make it work with a soundbar, but I now set my soundbar at seven and the bass at um at, at zero. It goes minus for some reason it goes minus one minus minus two minus one zero one. So I set it at zero, which is effectively three for the bass, and it's quite all right with most things. Okay, I mean you do get one you know with outside. You know, when the scenes are shot outside and that, you do, you do get this kind of kind of rumbly, kind of rumbly static -y sound. But apart from that, it's okay. All right, so <coughs> next week we're doing bone set tea. Again, you know, to sort it out. I'm really sorry about that, about that but I was genuinely poorly. Right, here we go. Next. What's the next thing? Well, next. Before I go, I just want to say one thing. You know, I'm wearing a, a particular type of hat. So I just want you to imagine, right, that sat next to me 
is the actress that played um or the actor I don't know I don't know how you say it these days without getting, without getting shot but the is the actor who plays um Hermione Granger in the um in the Harry Potter franchise franchise how much money has been made by that when you think about it right first of all though the books whoa loads of money then there was the Stephen Fry audio books whoa loads of money then the films come out They've, they've generated a lot of cash, their books. But anyway, supposing that actress, that young actress, wasn't. Well, yeah, that young actress was sat next to me now. And she just said, Hey, John, what tea are we drink, drink, dinking? What tea are we drinking? I would say, It's a lemon tea, my dear Watson. <laughs>